Hello yogis, namaste, Melissa here from Mystical Stone. Welcome to your day 23 of our 30 day journey. And we're going to be working on nurturing every corner of our beings through our pranic flow, our breaths. As we move from pose to pose, we're gonna do it ever so gently and mindfully so that you can really pay attention what your body needs and we can adjust according to that. If there is anything that doesn't feel right, remember you can skip it or adjust it so that it does feel okay. And we're gonna start towards the back of the mat, sitting on our knees this way, all right? And once you are set up, place your hands together at the center of the heart. You're welcome to have a blanket under your knees. Close your eyes and take a few moments checking in with your knees, your hips, and your shoulders. You want your shoulders right over the knees, have a gentle arch on your lower back, throw your navel in, and pull it upwards so that you can elongate your spine. Slightly tuck your chin and press the crown of the head towards the ceiling. We'll take a few moments here. On your next exhalation, press your shins against the floor, press the top of the feet onto the floor, and lift your arms towards the sky. Follow the hands with the gaze. As you exhale, flip your palms forward, gaze forward, hinge from your hips, and bring your hands towards the floor. Then press your forehead down. We'll take a few moments here just to check in how this pose lands on your back and your knees. You don't have to touch the floor with the forehead. Don't force it. Some of you will, some of you won't. Activate your hands, palms pressing down. Notice how that activates your shoulders. You want to move the eyes of the elbows towards the ceiling so that you externally rotate your arms and your shoulders. You want to feel the space between your shoulder blades. Press your hands down and forward like if you were in a downward facing dog. Breathe. The next time you inhale, come up onto your knees. Open your chest, look forward or up. And as you exhale, bring your gaze between the hands and sit back on your heels once again. Push the mat forward and down. Forehead towards the floor, whether you touch or not. We'll do it again. Inhale. Cow stretch. Press the shins, top of the feet on the floor. Eyes of the elbows forward. Open your chest, shoulder blades together. And exhale, push back. Forehead down. Moving slowly, moving mindfully. One more inhale. And as you exhale, sit back, forehead down. Maybe wiggle your body, move it side to side. Keep your hands, arms active and breathe. The next time you inhale, come up on your fours. Draw your navel in, push the mat away from you, drawing your shoulder blades apart. Eyes of the elbows face forward and as you exhale, curl the toes under, pick up the knees and push back onto downward facing dog. Breathe deeply. You may walk it out here or stretching your calves, your hamstrings. Keep pushing the mat down and forward and keep opening through your shoulders so that your shoulder blades move away from each other. It's like you're trying to hollow up your armpits and your chest slightly. The next time you inhale, bring your knees onto the floor, uncurl the toes, open your chest, look forward or up. Exhale, sit back on your heels, forehead down. Inhale, come up on your cow stretch. Exhale, gaze down, draw your navel in, neutral spine, curl the toes, pick up the knees, and push back onto downward facing dog. Inhale, knees down. Uncurl the toes. 
cow stretch. And exhale, sit back. Inhale, repeat. Neutral spine, draw your navel in, curl the toes and pick up for downward dog as you exhale. We're gonna do one more like this. Inhale, knees down. And curl the toes, cow. Exhale, sit back, forehead down. Breathe deeply here. You may bring your hands under the forehead or stack your fists and relax for a few moments. The next time you inhale slowly, use your hands, push yourself up onto your seated position. Bring your hands together at the center of the heart, relax your shoulders, draw your navel in, lift it like if you were trying to tuck it in under your uh, rib cage. That's what we're doing. And then draw your blades together. Uh, together. Now as we exhale, we're going to push the shins down, lift and squeeze your bum and inhale slowly, sit back. Keeping your shoulders over the hips as you exhale, come up. And inhale down. And again, exhale. And we have sound effect here with the floor. And inhale down. And exhale, squeeze your bum, come up. and inhale down. Find your rhythm, you should be able to feel your thighs. So your body is going to try to do this. And we're gonna try to avoid that. Instead, we're gonna try to come straight up and straight down. Exhale up and inhale down. Watch for those knees, don't overdo it. And down. We'll take a few moments here and breathe. Relax your hands on your, on your thighs, close your eyes, watch your breath. Open your eyes, and when you're ready, walk towards the front of the mat, finding tabletop. And as you exhale, curl the toes under, draw your navel in, pick up the knees, and push back onto your downward facing dog, and breathe. Pushing the mat down and forward, and it is important that you connect all of your knuckles onto the floor without pressing them too much so that your fingertips lift. Some of you have that ability, don't go that far. On your next inhalation, walk towards the front of the mat. And as you exhale, bend your knees a lot and bring yourself halfway. Roll your shoulders down, maybe lift the toes and press all four corners of the feet onto the floor. On your next breath, walk yourself up, relax your shoulders back and down, and step back with your right foot, turning towards the long end of the mat. Now from here, when you're ready, bring your right toes out to the right, and you can turn your left toes slightly in, internally rotating your left hip. Keep your pelvis facing towards the long end of the mat, but make sure that doesn't bother any of your knees. Inhale your arms out to the sides at a T position, and as you exhale, bend your right knee. Make sure that knee is right over the ankle, lift the toes. Breathe deeply here. Turn your gaze towards your right. Hinge towards your right on your next exhalation and bring your right fingertips towards your right heel, the outside of your right heel. 
reaching up with the left hand. Keep that right knee bent. Maybe gaze goes up, but you don't have to. And press the outer edge of the back foot so your arch doesn't collapse. If you're quite flexible, don't go all the way down so that your hand touches the floor. Try to stay halfway. Or not halfway, but somewhere where you can still contain your body. Engage your legs, your glutes. Inhale here, and as you exhale, pull up with the top hand, coming up onto a T position. Shoulders down, breathe. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. And on your next inhalation, extend your leg. Exhale, hands on your hips, right toes face forward. We'll take a few moments. When you're ready, left toes turn out to the left and your right toes move slightly in. Balance your hips so they might face the long end of the mat. Bend the left knee and make sure the knee lands over the ankle or maybe slightly behind it, that's okay. Keep your toes active, so maybe lift it. Inhale your arms at a T position and exhale your shoulders into their sockets. Bring your gaze towards your left hand. My teacher used to say, keep your fingers together like if you were shooting energy out of them. Make sure that front knee doesn't go in or out. Keep it pointing straight ahead and on your next exhalation, Hinge towards the left and bring your left fingertips to the outside of your left heel. Right hand up and breathe. The next time you exhale, pull up onto your T position, back to an upright and gaze to the left hand. Breathe. And as you inhale, bring your hands to your hips and exhale, toes face forward. Balance your hips, relax your shoulders, take a few moments here. When you are ready, you're gonna walk your feet closer together. Bring your knees up and let your feet just go down naturally. When you bend your knees, make sure that your kneecaps and your toes are pointing on the same direction. Reach your arms to the front and bring your thumbs inside your palms, wrap with your fingers. Bring your hands down, relax your shoulders, and as you take your next inhalation, lift your heels. Reach your arms back and breathe. Exhale, release your heels down, relax your shoulders. We'll do it again. Arms back, squeeze your palm and lift your heels and breathe. If you have any knee concerns, find a safe way onto your seated position. Otherwise, on your next exhalation, sweep your arms to the front, bend your knees, and lower. We're gonna take it all the way down. Bring your hands together and move your shoulders over the hips. With control, release your hands down, and help yourself down onto your seated position. We'll take a few moments, shoulders back and down, close your eyes, observe your breath. Bring your right hand to your heart and your left hand to your tummy. Watch the movement of your hands as you breathe in and out. Try to send the breath into your left hand, right into your tummy and all the way up to your chest. Let all the air go. And again, breathe in, expand. And let all the air go. On your next breath, gonna release your hands and find your way onto your back. When you are ready, bend your knees, bring your foot soles to the floor, tuck your tailbone, and then hug your knees and rock side to side. 
If you like, you can hold onto your big toes, the ankles, the back of the legs, the outer edges of your feet, and rock side to side. If it works for you, go to the one side, extend the opposite leg, and then bend the knee, other side. Come back to center, bring your foot soles together, bring your palms together, and then release your feet and your hands to the floor, hands overhead. Breathe here. Keep your lower rib cage connected to the ground. And when you're ready, bring your arms by your sides, palms up, knees up, extend your legs, relax and observe. You are welcome to stay here on your Shavasana for as long as you want. Those of you who are ready to come up, you wiggle your toes and fingers, stretch your arms overhead, bring your legs together and stretch and tense and squeeze every muscle tight, 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 prune face and exhale, release. Bend your knees, bring your foot soles on the floor, move on to your favorite side. I'm gonna take a few moments here, check in with your breath. And you're going to use your top hand to help yourself up on your next exhalation. Be mindful as you come up. Find a comfortable seated position, so maybe cross-legged. You can put one foot on top of the other. Just make sure your knee and your hip are okay with that. Hands together in Anjali Mudra. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face and your jaw. Observe your breath. Pay attention to your pranic flow. Remember that your inhalations are nurturing while your exhalations are grounding and cleansing. We're gonna seal our practice with our Metta Mantra. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live in peace. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live in peace. May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all be safe, may all live in peace. Inhale through your nostrils, expand. And through your nostrils, exhale. Inhale to Om. Tuck your chin onto your chest and open your eyes, gaze forward. Shower yourself with your own good vibes and shake off all tensions and stresses that you don't need anymore. Thank you, yogis. Namaste. If you are ready to get serious about your yoga practice, remember to check out my online yoga studio, link in the description. Also, press the like button before you go, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell button so you can get notifications whenever I upload new content. Thank you so much for being part of this mystical community. Namaste.